Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to land free backlinks um, and also how to try and steal your competitor's backlink profile as well. Uh, this strategy works, um, it's not a new strategy by any means but I'm essentially bringing some light to it because I don't see that many people talking about it nowadays. Um, it definitely does still work, um, especially if you guys are on a tighter budget highly recommend this strategy because you can land some really good quality dr 60 plus dr 50 plus backlinks um, and essentially acquire a lot of link equity or a lot of link juice very quickly doing this this uh, strategy um, one thing i will say is that if i am a business owner for example watching this video i might want to sop this and give it to a va or somebody that works for me um because you do need to do a little bit of due diligence. But anyway, let's get into the video. So what I have done is I have tried to find a travel blog website. So I've just searched for, do I need a visa for Turkey? And as we can see here, we've got a few um, government websites and we also have intrapede.com or sorry, intrapedetravel.com they are a quite a big travel website um, if we take a look at the actual stats as you can see it is a dr76 ur38 321,000 backlinks 17,000 referring domains upward trajectory so they are doing a lot of things right however what we're actually going to be trying to do is steal some of their backlinks so what we're actually going to be doing is first of all what we want to do is go to best buy links on the left hand side now for anybody that has never used this filter it's essentially shown us which pages on the website has the most links going through to it so obviously naturally a lot of websites will have their home page um, as the most linked to page but we actually don't care about this what we actually care about is the 404s and not found pages. So if we click on 404, not found, these are actually pages that are on the website <clears throat> that essentially 404, um, they, the, the, this website owner might have potentially deleted some pages or they might have um, migrated the website and changed the URLs. There might be a lot of reasons why um, that some of these pages are essentially 404. So as you can see here, 404 page not found. Um, this page here has got 19 do follow backlinks. Um, it's a UR of nine. What we actually want to do is sort by do follow um, highest DR. And if we take a look at some of these, as you can see here, there are a lot of pages <clears throat> on this website that has that is basically 404ing. However, um, they have got a lot of links. Now, basically, it's just wasted link juice on this website. Now, what I would be looking to do is basically filtering through some of these pages. This is the only slight issue with this strategy. It can be a little bit time consuming, but it works very, very well. So if we actually load up some of these pages, um, as you can see here, this URL has a homepage link from makeovermonday.co.uk and as you can see here um, this is the website it also has a dr60 from nomadosaurus.com linking through to it and if we take a look here it links through to the intra oh, intrapaid adventure index so if we just copy that and as you can see that's the anchor there um, now, one thing that I highly recommend you guys do is step number one, obviously identify the pages on the website that you are trying to essentially grab links from. As you can see here, there are some really good links. Um, so you've got some DR54s, DR60, DR70. Um, you also have an Australian website, DR90, do follow link. Um, so this looks like some form of like a, a high PR campaign that they might have ran. So now the next step is to essentially rebuild this page on our website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for, or actually I could probably do this live on the, on the um, video. So head over to Google. 
search for Wayback Machine. And what we're going to do is we're going to search the URL here. And as you can see, um, basically for anybody that doesn't know what Wayback is, Wayback Machine is kind of like the, the Internet Archive as, as it's titled. Uh, it's probably the best way of explaining it. But basically what this does is it stores backups of your website of your web pages in some cases it doesn't it's basically how often it crawls the web but if we go to like 2022 for example and if we click that page <clears throat> so as you can see this was the page prior to it 404ing now what we essentially want to do is rebuild this page um obviously because this is a backup from like 2019 or 2022, we would probably want to update the content and essentially um, redo this on our website. So it's talking about the 2019 index highlights, the top 10 destinations for Australian travelers, right? So all we need to do is rebuild this, get the data, um, in some cases, the pages that we're actually looking at might just be a regular blog post. This is actually kind of like more of an informative piece on the actual uh, website. But get the data, rebuild this with the current 2024 or 2025 stats. And then the next step that we're going to do is once we have rebuilt this page on our website, we can, we've essentially got 28 websites to reach out to. So for example, what we would do then is head over to Nomadosaurus, grab the URL, head over to a tool called hunter.io. This is, I'm using the free plan as you can see at the top right. Um, but if we click over here, it has the email. So we can reach out to this um, website owner saying, hey, you're linking out to a broken link um, on this web on this web page. Here's an uh, here's an up to date link, the exact same article. I also even have an email template um, that you guys can follow. So this is my broken links template. So what we're doing here is uh, the subject line. What I would recommend you guys do is essentially. Um, swap this subject line out, use emojis, emojis get higher open rate. Um, so if I, <clears throat> if I read this out, so quick fix for a broken link on your website. Hi, you can, you can swap this out, but this is a boiler uh, template that I have used and you uh, currently use it right now as well. Hi, recipient name. Um, if we click over to hunter.io, um, so have we got a name? It seems to be Jazza. Um, hi. Hi, Jazza. Um, I hope you're well. I recently came across a broken link on your site. Um, exact location of the broken link if possible. So what we would do here is grab that URL, paste it into here. Um, and I thought you'd want to know as it might lead to poor user experience for your visitors. Would you consider replacing the link with, uh, to your website? Let's say, for example, our new website is, um, we'll do, uh, we'll do this, right? Let's, let's say, for example, this is our new website um, or our new web page. Would, uh, would you consider replacing the link uh, with, would you consider replacing it with a link to our website? Let's, let's just do Kazra dot com forward slash travel right let's say that's that's our new page with all the exist or the old data we offer a brief description of what your site offers um this is where you would customize it a little bit my site offers nomad um travel tips right what, whatever the case may be and i believe it would be a valuable resource for your audience looking forward to making the web page a better place be, um, best and then you would just sign that off um, obviously make certain that you get rid of the bold and stuff like that but that is what the template looks like so what i'll do is i'll change it back to the default template so just take a screenshot of this use this i would probably split test this um and tweak it 
because the more you tweak this, the higher open rates you're going to get, the um, more intriguing it's going to sound. Um, so yeah, that's what I would be looking to do. And again, if we go back to Ahrefs, there's some brilliant links here. Um, like for example, fromers.com, um, that is a DR78. Let's just throw this into um, hunter.io, fromers.com. As you can see here, it's got all the email contact information. Zach Thompson is the managing editor. Um, I would probably be uh, contacting Zach Thompson um, for that because he's he is the editor. So just to recap, what you do is you go to overview or well, you actually go to best buy links for any website. Try and pick some bigger websites because they're, they're more likely to have more broken links. Then what we're going to do is HTTP code. We're going to change this to 404. Um, and then what we then want to do is sort by do follow links. So as you can see here, we have got a lot list of these do follow links. So for example, let's look at the Cambodia page. Um, as you can see, um, sort by DR again. So you've got hoptraveler.com. This is a DR46 um, page that's linking through to that blog. And essentially, then what you do is you grab the URL of any domain name, fire it through hunter.io, and it will give you the contact information of that website owner. The next step is to just go over to your email template. Feel free to tweak this. Um, use emojis in your subject line, tweak, tweak the uh, intro as well, and start emailing them. Uh, remember to obviously do follow-ups. Follow-ups are super important when you are doing any form of outreach. But this strategy is really good because, again, as a website owner, even myself, I don't like broken links, especially if I am linking out to a dead page. So a lot of people will get back to you and they will replace the link Um They'll probably even thank you. I've, I've, I have had thank yous in the past sometimes where people have said, yeah, thank you so much for doing that. Your article is a lot better. And yeah, that has been a 13 minute guide on how to essentially land free uh, backlinks. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. And if you guys want a free 15 minute growth strategy call for your website, make sure to check out casual The link is in the description. Thanks.